missing Navy wife Elizabeth Sullivan, who vanished two years ago. Tennis reporter Riel Creighton is live near Liberty Station, where police say the mother of two was murdered. Riel. Kim, it is indeed a homicide investigation. You can go back two years, and these were the missing persons posters that were plastered all over this area. Turns out the woman they had been looking for all along pulled from the water. What police don't know is why someone would kill her. A tragic end to a two-year-old mystery. Months after being pulled from the water in San Diego Bay, a body found now identified as that of missing mother of two and Navy wife Elizabeth Sullivan. We're all very, very worried and concerned. Two years ago, pleas for answers from Sullivan's friends and family who spoke to 10 News in the days after she vanished. We left it at, you know, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Didn't hear from her again. <laughs> Seen here in video with one of her little girls described as a doting mother who wouldn't have just taken off. Her father telling 10 News then he talked to his daughter nearly every day. But we always had a pact that because she was so far away from home that she would text me at least to say I'm okay because she knew I'd worry if, if I didn't hear from her. Sullivan was reportedly spotted near the soccer field at Liberty Station just two days after her disappearance. But investigators said leads didn't turn up any clues. The body pulled from the water, badly decomposed. Police say it's clear it had been there for some time. Sullivan married to a Navy service member. Friends told 10 News she was having marital problems. But police say her husband is not a suspect. Homicide detectives traveling to the East Coast where he's relocated with her two young daughters to tell them they had positively identified her body. The police say they have no suspects. They're asking for anyone with information, anybody who knew Sullivan around the time of her disappearance, to come forward and call them. We're live near Liberty Station tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.